We're so excited because uh, New York City is where they started. They started the Tonight Show. So Steve Allen, which uh, I wish Steve Allen were still around to see what we're doing because I think he'd be psyched of what we're doing. If you watch our show, and be like, that's what I'm. That's what I want. That's this kid's exactly got it right. He's, we're supposed to be silly and and goofy and laugh and just uh, and just have fun with everything. I think you know we work too hard. You know, leave it up to us, and we have great writers. We'll we'll make it easy so that you go to bed with a smile on your face. Uh, and we're doing it in New York City. New York City is, to me, nightlife. It, it should be. It is nighttime. Um, you know, I, I love L.A., but I don't really think of nighttime when I think of Los Angeles. I think of, you know, rollerbladers and uh, people eating sushi and stuff like that. And beautiful sun weather and palm trees. And New York City, I think of uh, Broadway, Times Square. Uh, uh, there's like a glamour to it, you know. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's just... It just feels right, and the energy and the spirit is here. Uh, so I think that's all going to come with us, you know, when, when we take over The Tonight Show in February. I've kind of grown up with a generation of humans on this, uh, on this, in this country, on this earth, uh, from, um, from starting on Saturday Night Live when I was 23 in, like, 1998. Uh, I did Saturday Night Live for six seasons. Then I um, did some movies, uh, so I got different fans there, and then I... Uh, came back, Lauren Michaels asked me to host Late Night. I've done that for five years now, almost a thousand shows. And so that's a whole new generation of fans that I have. So I weirdly have like three generations of people that I, I it's weird for me to say because I'm me, but it's like, well, I'm getting old. Um, but, uh, but everyone's kind of growing up with me and, uh, and changing with me. And I think uh, I'm going to bring that audience with me to The Tonight Show and we'll bring it to a new level and we're going to have fun with it. Social media has been great for us. Uh, we use the internet all the time on our show. We, when we were starting uh, late night, uh, we were nervous because we were taking over for Conan O'Brien, who's been on TV for 16 years or something, and we were just like nervous, what do we do? I don't know how to do a talk show. So we started putting out these little web videos so I can practice being in front of the camera and talking to the camera and not staring right down the lens and just not being weird and uh, interviewing people. So we, that was our practice. And then we put it out in the web uh, every once a week at like 12.30 to get people used to watching us at 12.30. Uh, so now it's five years in. I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, our show has changed way since uh, when we first started. I think it kind of blossomed into what will now be The Tonight Show. We're building the studio now. Uh, it's gorgeous. It's, uh, you're going to love it. It's just glamorous and it's very Tonight Show-ish. It's beautiful. Uh, and we, ha we are getting a lead in. We're, this is the second week of the Olympics is when we launch. So the second week of the Olympics is February 17th. It's a Monday. Uh, if you need to, a reminder, you can call my mother. She keeps bringing it up every single day. Uh, and she's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come like, on the 15th and just hang out and get ready. Uh, it's making me nervous. But, uh, so yeah, we have the, a great lead in. NBC is so excited about this because we had the Olympics. Uh, always exciting and something always fun comes out of that and the energy and people just flock to it. So I think it's a perfect time to, to launch the new Tonight Show. I think it's, it's great because we're going to have a lot of eyeballs watching.